you know, Paul just helped me sum up those two drops in our life's teaspoon. The first drop represents time, which we all have a limited supply of. And the second drop represents opportunity, which may exist in abundance all around us, but we must always wisely choose which ones to explore because time will never permit us to explore every available opportunity. So let's journey together as we explore a little more of time and opportunity, because I want you to leave this session with a bigger, more useful perspective of what you have available in your life and how to best manage it. So the first drop of oil we are given in our teaspoon of life is called time. From the very moment we are born until the moment we breathe our last breath, we have been moving through our lives according to time. Time is the universal pattern within all of our lives, which continues to advance us by the seconds, the hours, the days, and the years closer towards eternity. Time can be seen as God's chauffeur driven limo, which picks us up from the moment we are born with one goal of driving us daily towards our final face to face appointment with the creator himself. Time is something that we are given in limited supply, which we can't borrow more of from friends. We can't beg more of from people passing by. We can't steal some from anyone. We can only use what we have been allotted. And contrary to today's popular ideas by management experts and gurus, time is something that you honestly, you don't have the power to manage or control. You can only manage you and what you do at any given moment because time doesn't wait, time doesn't stop, time doesn't negotiate, and time only moves in one direction, which is toward eternity. The Apostle Paul said that we are to make the most of our time. This means that every day we use our time to become more of who God has called us to be, one step at a time.